Greetings, thanks for tuning in. This is Sim Survival Information and Motivation. So much is going on in the world. Let's just talk about the U.S. real quick. Well, that flooding still affecting a lot of the Midwest farmers, or just Midwest people in the Midwest, period. Lots of cattle's been lost, farmland has been destroyed, and they can't get to start their crops yet. Blizzard watches for certain parts of the U.S. still, and it's beginning of spring. And with those blizzards comes snow, and with the snow melts, so more chances of flooding. They said that certain parts of the U.S. is under a flood watch until June. Wow. So when we have certain cities and, and cities that get damaged by this water, remember that messing with our food supply. So I would strongly, I would strongly advise that you start growing your own foods because when you pop that seed in, it could be anywhere from six weeks to two months for that food fruit vegetables whatever it is to flourish so go ahead pick up some seeds you don't need the biggest space just one or two items in the house can go a long way especially when the price of, the, of these items that might go up that get damaged in this severe weather so you know like i think idaho was one of the places i think they said potatoes soy and a couple of other things so when you're spending two or three dollars more for these items you know it you might say i wish i did listen to jason any event, growing your own fruits and vegetables is it, it, it's a great feeling. Maybe not for everyone, and some people say they can't, you know, keep plants. Some people say I just kill all my plants. Anyway, you show them a little love, just like anything, and it will return it. It's great. I love planting. I have not started yet, but I do have all my seeds and I have pretty much all my supplies. And I'll make a video, hopefully encourage you, because when you get to the store anyway. You look at those big old diesel bananas and apples and all that other stuff and bright and shiny. That's not natural. That's not the way they should be looking. Grow your own food. Now, next thing, disease. I'm a fan of The Walking Dead. I ain't gonna say I'm a fan no more, but I really used to like enjoy watching The Walking Dead. I love the whole survival aspect. And one thing they never really talked too much about was how they became zombies. To me, a zombie is a person that walk around on their phone all day. Somebody brain dead. Sound like people we know? I think so. I would agree, right? Yes. But with all the disease that's going around, remember we had the whole Ebola scare a couple years ago. We thought it was going to get all the way over here. It's still in Africa. It's still running rampant. Then we have the measles. You know, this year, it's it's really been doing its thing. Even uh, later part of uh, 2018, it started off. Certain parts of um, New York, they said that if you was under 18, and you're not vaccinated, you can't be outside. Now they're saying in part, certain parts of Brooklyn, uh, zip codes, that you need to be, it's mandatory vaccinates, vaccination, you know. How do y'all feel about that? When they tell you, you have to take this vaccine. And the thing with vaccines, you know, anyone, they call them the anti-vaxxers. You know, they're, they're getting slammed right now and they're being censored hardcore. So even on Amazon, they pulled off certain books that talks about the bad effects of, you know, of vaccines and as well as YouTube edit certain videos. And, you know, that's just the way it is. But if it was such a terrible thing, then, you know, still freedom of freedom of speech, you know, freedom forever. That's what I believe in. But that's what's going on. I didn't mean to hold you up. Pick up one of our shirts, Freedom Forever. Thanks for tuning in. Create and Conquer. We out.